here in the seam and do like a pan out. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I have been in full research mode ever since I posted my last video, which was probably two weeks ago now. Um, I mentioned that I got my hormones checked. I got my vitamins checked. I think I got my vitamins checked. Anyway, it was basically almost a full panel because they also looked at my thyroid and my cortisol um yeah a whole bunch of stuff and um the results came back i was able to kind of go over them with um, like a nurse practitioner but i also wanted a second opinion from someone else that's kind of specializes in hormone therapy um, and bioidentical hormones and just to kind of give me uh, a second opinion about what's going on because my testosterone came back low and my cortisol came back low. Um, so they recommended some more testing and they recommended I go and get like a gut microbiome, like a GI mapping of my gut microbiome to get even a bigger picture because the um the gut microbiome can be linked to hormonal imbalances and if you've got like leaky gut for example which could be like an imbalance of good and bad bacteria in your gut that can impact your hormone levels and if you were to get that tested you can kind of see you know, if there's like an imbalance between those bacterias and what you need to do in order to, um, you know, rebalance the, the bacterias. And that could be like an elimination diet. So you're kind of taking out foods from your diet, um, inflammatory foods or foods that could be causing any sort of, in, any sort of inflammation or like insensitivities in your body. So that whole test is a whole nother thing and it's got obviously a high cost associated with it. Um, pretty sure it's not covered by insurance, although I haven't really checked yet. So I need to call my insurance to see if that would be something that they do cover. Um, but I talked with this um, hormone therapy clinic. If you guys are interested, it's called Rise and I'll leave their information down below. They have amazing staff everyone was super knowledgeable and helpful the lady that i talked to um she was really really helpful she talked with me on the phone it was a free consultation call she talked with me for like 45 minutes i asked her a ton of questions and ever since then i've just been deep diving into what low testosterone means what i'm able to do naturally to combat it and to rebalance and um you know, get my hormone levels uh, normal within range. And I have kind of shift my mindset and my perspective on everything. And I can get into that in the next coming videos. But bottom line is I am no longer focused on dieting, fasting, trying to lose weight, trying to get smaller. Um, I'm no longer counting calories. I have completely just um stripped that of my body and of my mind and it is now time to um believe in what I want my truth to be and what my truth is is that I am a healthy functioning female and I'm a mother I have the energy I have it within me to be the best version of me 
And that means nourishing my body, fueling my body, no longer limiting calories, no longer suppressing intake, no longer wishing I was someone else or looking like something else. I am whole. I am a positive, confident, energetic woman and mother and wife. And I know that I can do this. And that is living my greatest life and fulfilling my body with whole nutrient dense foods, a lot of protein, exercising, lifting weights, strength training, and moving my body every single day. And I'm no longer going to deprive my body. I'm not going to be fasting anymore. I have completely just turned everything around. Um, and I came across a video on YouTube. It just totally like opened up my my mind on all of this because I I've done this before. I have manifested goals for myself, dreams, things that have come true for me that I never thought I would be capable of achieving. There have been so many things in my past that I have been able to accomplish and to achieve through manifestation, thinking positive, um, and and believing in myself, and just keep you know keep reaffirming all of these positive statements and beliefs to myself. And that's what you have to do. That's really what you have to do. Stop with the negative thinking. Stop with the negative mindset, the closed-minded beliefs. You know, you can heal yourself and you can be the best version of yourself living in optimal, at optimal capacity. Um, and I, I was listening to a podcast um, from Just Ingredients. Again, I'll leave that link down below. And it was like, as if they were talking to me because um, they were they were talking about, uh, you know, rebalancing hormones and how all of these, you know, restricting calories, eating a thousand calories, eating 1200 calories a day, um, trying to be smaller, all of these like yo-yo dieting, it can really affect your hormones negatively, especially if you are a woman in your 20s, 30s, 40s, like that can all make such huge impacts on your menstrual cycle and on your hormone levels. And what we really need to be focusing on is building up our metabolism and building up our strength and eating adequate amount of protein and micronutrients and fiber and just a well-rounded diet so that it doesn't negatively impact your estrogen, your progesterone, your testosterone, your cortisol. Um, Cause you don't, you don't wanna be adding more stressors onto your body, especially if you are a mom, you are a busy mom managing kids or even if you're a working mom and you have to wake up at a certain time every single day. All of these are all stressors on your body. So I've just been reshifting my beliefs and my mindset. And I'm just, I'm trying to take a step back and I'm doing all the right things. I have to believe in myself. I have to feel my body. I have to eat breakfast in the morning, no longer fasting. There's just so much that I, it's just like an aha moment for me right now. A light bulb just kind of went off and I wanted to update you guys on that. Um, I'm doing a lot of things differently. Like I said, one of them is no, no longer fasting, eating first thing in the morning. I am noticing that my metabolism ever since I started like lifting weights back up, like picking that up again, I'm doing that about five times a week now. I am hungry every three hours. I'm eating lots of high protein, I'm eating carbs, and I feel like I'm just fueling my body. I'm no longer suppressing that hunger. And it feels good. I feel like I've got more energy, I feel more positive. Like, I feel like a completely different person, literally in, in the span of seven days. And it's been a game changer. So I will talk more about that. I have so much more that I want to share with you guys, but I don't want to overload you and just keep rambling on and on because I can keep going on this topic. But I will leave a link to the hormone therapy clinic called Rise down below. Um, if you guys want to talk to them, they do offer free consultation calls. This is not sponsored or anything. And also the podcast that really kind of, I felt like was speaking to me by Just Ingredients. 
amazing. Just li listen to it and it was very helpful, very insightful. So um, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. I will check back in very soon and give you guys an update, but I will tell you right now, it's been only one week on this whole new lifestyle change. I am feeling amazing. I, it's incredible. Honestly, it's incredible. I was feeling like so down and so depressed and so like helpless, but I am now feeling so um, optimistic. Yeah, feeling energetic, like a brand new person. So anyway, um, thanks so much for listening, you guys. <laughs> and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.